This is the last video in the tutorial on how to solve the Siamese cube. This tutorial will show you how to move corner, uh, move edges around and keeping the color on the top so that you can completely solve your Siamese cube. You, what you may also have, if you're very lucky, is what, I ha what happened on this other cube, where all I need to do is a U and I solved it. But that probably will not be the case. So what you do is you look at the three corners. Turn the top layer so the three corners that need to be switched are here. And if there are four, I will, four that need to be switched, I will address that later. So now the three corners that need to be switched are this one, this one, and this one. So I want to do, in this case, a U prime to get all three of those corners in the front. Now I look at the corners. See how this one has orange? That means that if I were to bring this piece here and this piece to here, it would solve the cube, because yellow and orange would go between yellow and orange. So, in this case, since it needs to be rotated counterclockwise, the algorithm to do that is R U prime, R U, R U, R U prime, R prime, U prime, R2. And now you'll see that all you need to do is turn the top layer once, and you've solved your Siamese cube. But, let's say that the three corners you need to switch are in the front now, but if you were to bring red down here using that algorithm, it would not solve the cube. So what you want to do in this case, if you would need to do them clockwise rather than counterclockwise, is bring all three of them to the back by doing a U2, now this one needs to go here, this one to here, and this one to here, and you need to perform the following algorithm. R prime U, R prime. U prime, R prime, U prime. R prime U, R, U, R2. And now, as you can see, all of the edges are matched up, so all I need to do is turn the last layer. So, in this case, I've solved my Siamese cube. But there are two more algorithms that are completely optional. A case that you might have is where you need to switch these two edges and these two edges. If this is the case, you can solve this just by learning the three uh, edge switching algorithms. Let's just do the first one I taught you, which switches this piece to here, this one to here, and this one to here. So if I were to put, so, do that, you'll see that it solved this one. So now I can make all, make all three of them on the front, and I can see that this piece needs to go to here, so I can perform the first algorithm, and now I can easily solve the cube. That was using the same algorithm twice, when all four edges needed to be switched. However, if you want to get a little faster at solving the Siamese cube, I can teach you one algorithm to switch these two edges and these two edges. To do that, you want to do an M2, U, M2, U2, M2, U, M2. That's really easy and quick to perform. M2, U, M2, U2, M2, U, M2. And that will solve all of these. So quickly, once more, switching these two and these two. M2, U, M2, U2, M2, U, M2. And that is how to switch these two and these two. Now the last one is where these two need to be switched and these two need to be switched. Let me remind you that if your cube, when uh, you've done all the previous steps, has it where these two need to be switched and these two, make sure to turn the top layer until it's the front and the right that need to be so switched and the back and the left. So, what you need to do in this case as with the cross, you could just do one of the algorithms that I showed you, and that will lead you to a second one. So let's just pretend, and I'll do the one that switches this one to here, this one to here, and this one to here. Which is R U prime, R U, R U, R U prime, R prime, U prime, R2. Now as you can see here, when I bring all three to the front, this piece goes here, this one here, and this one here. So I can just do the first algorithm. And now, my Siamese cube once the top layer is turned, can be solved. Now, again, as with the cross, uh, as with switching these two and these two, there is also one algorithm that you can learn to switch these two 
and these two. And that is M2, U. M2, U. M prime, U2. M2, U2, M prime, U2. And that will solve your Siamese cube. If you have any of those cases where these three need to be switched, these three need to be switched, these two, or these two, you can solve it in one uh, algorithm. If you have it where these three need to be switched, or these three, then all you need to do is turn the top layer until they get on the front of the cube, figure out if this piece needs to go here, or if this one needs to go here, and if it needs to go here, you can do the first algorithm, but if it needs to go here, do a U2, and then you can do the algorithm to switch all three of these clockwise, then turn the last layer, and you have solved your Siamese Rubik's Cube. If you have any questions or comments on this method, or uh, on anything that I've t taught in any part of this video series, just send me a message or leave a comment, and I will get back to you as soon as I can.